as while discussing about MVC, we saw that we have something called controller which actually controls the execution of any AngularJS application. So here in this example, we'll see how we can work with a controller. So first of all, we'll see an example where we'll see how a controller can pass the value to another view. So let's see how we can implement the basic Im controller in AngularJS. So here I have taken a script file right there in my scripts folder. So along with these two angular.js and angular.min.js, now I have a third file called script.js where I will write my own code. So just to uh, get the feature functionality of IntelliSense in Visual Studio, what you can do is you can simply make a drag and drop so that whenever you will start writing the code, you will get the IntelliSense. Like if I say angular dot, you will get the modules in the IntelliSense, right? So as we used to get in the IDEs. Now here, what I have done is I have taken the module named my module. So far, we have not taken the module. We have taken it first time with the name called my module and I've assigned this with a variable called app. Since so far, I am not going for any dependencies which this module is using. So you can see I have passed a blank array. As soon as you will you want to use any dependency, you'll have to mention it out here, right? We will see in our coming videos. And here I have designed our first controller with the name first controller. All right. And controller will do nothing but will provide us some functionality. So right after that, we, you can see there is a callback function. And since this function is for a particular controller and this controller may send a particular value in the view on which we will use it. So for doing that, you can see I have used a scope object right here, a scope service right here, in which you can bind any property at the runtime, which you can use later in your view. So here you can see that scope dot message message is my property, which I'm going to use in my view later. And I have given a message like angular JS tutorial. So when I want to use the same in our web page, let's see how to use that. So first of all, you can see I have included the angular.js of a base angular.js script file and after that our very own script.js which we just created. Just make a note like the reference of this angular.js should be before than this one. Otherwise the program will not give the output. And right after that in the body we use ng app in which we use the my module since that is the name of my module. So I just use that. And after that, the first controller, which you can see, I have included that in the div tag with the attribute called ng controller, the directive. So inside here, I'm good to use the message property which we bind. You don't need to add the scope right here. You just can write the property name as it is. And as soon as I'll execute, you can see you will find the same message which I have bound in the controller in the script file. Right. So AngularJS tutorial, the desired output is there in the browser. So this is how you can start using the controller. So as just now we saw how can we write a basic controller in any AngularJS application. Let's do one more implementation to see how can we use some bigger values in controller to pass it to the views. So in an, another example of controller of AngularJS, you can find I have taken another controller with the name data controller. And as I said, like you can do anything, any operations like that. In previous example, I just passed a simple message. But here I have taken an array of JavaScript objects with a variable called list employees, where in the object I have taken four properties like first name, last name, gender and salary. And as after that, once here we are done with this uh, collection, I assigned the same array to the scope object with the property name employees. So in the view, whenever I'll use this data controller, whenever I'll query for employees, we'll get all the records. So let's see how we have used in our web page. So inside this web page, you can see I have taken the data controller. 
I have already taken the reference of the script file which is must before writing this program and the module name is my module as it is in the continuation of our previous example all right so inside this data controller we have what we have done is we have taken the table with the ta table head and table header like first name last name gender and salary right here in the body section of the table we have used this employees property with ng repeat ng repeat will behave here like a loop if you are familiar with the programming there is something called for each loop so it will be behaving like that so ng repeat employee in employees we have seen that this employees property is a collection of all these records so one by one the record will come here in the property called in the variable called employee and we can read the first name last name gender and salary you can see it is in the same case as we have defined here in our object array so we have taken this tr in ng repeat so as many as records will keep on getting the same number of rows will be added to the table so these are my records so similar output we should be having let's see how the table is looking like in the output right so here you can see all the six records have been placed inside this table which we have read using the ng repeat directive so this is how you can start doing the using the controller in some advanced implementations as well